Hi, and welcome to the, uh, which will be the last tutorial in this set, and that's using a uh, Rapid Rig Modular Selector. So, um, once you've created your rig and you want to do some things like selecting your controls and, and uh, um, moving them around, sometimes it can be a bit tricky to manually go in and select them, as you may have seen in the uh, last tutorial with the tiger toes, for example. Um, so. If you want, there's an interface which is included. It's the uh, the second file in in the uh, zip file that you downloaded. And to run that, um, all you have to do is um, run the command, which I've created um, a little shelf button here. So if I go into my shelf editor, we can see that I have the Rapid Rig Modular Selector. And that's all you need to do. So if I look at the command, I just highlight this or type that in and run that, and then you can run it from uh, your shelf or wherever you like. So I'll just simply paste that in here and if I highlight this with nothing selected I get prompted. It says you must select the main control of a rig to generate the UI. So I'll simply highlight this guy and when I run that command, we'll just click the shelf button here, it's going to go through the rig and find everything that's in there and then we get a user interface which we can now quickly use to select controls and do some things like resetting transforms, selecting everything, uh, and mirroring poses, for example. And I decided to use just a, a standard biped because it has some of everything in there, arms, legs, uh, head, lookats, splines, and FK chains. So this interface, it's not quite as intuitive as a Rapid Rig Poser for Rapid Rig Advanced. Rapid Rig Poser will not work for this. Um, just so you're aware, that's only meant for Rapid Rig Advanced. Um, I am looking at designing something that will be um, something a little more flexible where you can actually move the buttons into the positions you want. But for now, it's just this sort of grid-like interface, which uh, it shouldn't take you too long to get used to, at least for now. But um, it's very difficult to automatically generate a UI that's going to work for every character. So this is uh, the current working prototype for now, which hopefully will do enough um, to get you started. Alright, so let's go through these. So th this main tab right now, there'll be more tabs coming, um, but for now this is what's here. So there are arms, heads, look at, legs, splines, FK chains, and these are these main areas here are buttons that you can use to select the different controls. I can also resize these um, to kind of fit my character better. I can resize the whole window if I like, um, depending on how much space you have, uh, how much monitor real estate you have. So I can go in and like, you know, readjust here, maybe this way I don't have to use up quite as much room. And then we could also go through and like, you know, if I'm never working with the eyes, I can close these up to hide stuff. Uh, if I have really long lists or whatever, I don't want to be scrolling all the way through all the time. Um, and but you know there are scroll bars so you can get to wherever you need to go hopefully there we go uh, so they're broken up as well so we have arms which are pairs so it hides both arms where I can hide one arm separate of the other and they're color coded as well so you know red is right blue is left and green are central ones and so yeah let's just kinda go through these so if I want to select the clavicle I can simply click here the shoulder, elbows, and both FK and IK. I can also grab the switch control, and I can do things like uh, IKFK switching and matching. So I can go IK to FK, and what that will do is it'll switch me into IK mode and position the IK control, so now I'm in IK mode. Um, I can also click the FK to IK, or sorry, IK to FK, yeah, FK to IK. There, now we're back here. And I can keep switching um, back and forth between the two. So now I can go uh, IK to FK again. Now we're back in IK mode. And then I can also click all. And this will select all the controls in my uh, branch. So in, in the ARM module, it will grab all of those. The uh, same thing for the other arm. And I can also hold down so the same modifiers like shift and control or command, depending on which uh, operating system you're using. So if I want to grab all of these, I can go through and select all of them at once, and then if I need to, I can go and uh, reset them or move them around or do whatever I need to. 
and I can select all of those ones as well. And then if I need to, I can you know go and zero them out. Uh, so the leg is very much the same. So I have the hips, knee, ankle, ball for FK, and then I have knee IK, heel IK, toe IK, foot, and then I also have the switch control, and I can same thing switch between. And go FK to IK. Oops, on the right leg. There we go. So now I'm in FK mode. And I can still select all of these as well. What else do we got here? So I can grab the jaw and the head controls. The, uh, the head control you typically don't want to animate um, unless you're doing something more robotic. Um, and the reason for that is is that it's going to like basically break the neck. But if you wanted to have the ability to rotate that, um, you know, around a pivot where you had like a head that was disconnected from the body, that would be useful. But typically for the head, you you animate the uh, the top IK control so that the neck flows into the head. Um, but we do have the jaw as well, so we can go in there and grab that, start moving, rotating it around. Um, and then we also have so it figures out how many you know joints you have for each and gets the control so I can grab all these guys and shift select them grab all four at once start rotating those around um, I can also grab the top IK control mid IK control and then I can grab all the FKs at once rather than shift selecting each or grab all the curve controls all together. And then I do have the ability to grab the individual ones. Even though they're hidden, they're still they're selected, so I'm actually moving these around. I can go in and turn these on so we can actually see them. And same thing for the neck, so I can grab the FK control here, rotate the head around, grab the top one, stretch out his neck, and so on and so forth. And then on the very far right, I have the uh, the look at. So the naming is, is basically whatever you call them, right? So um, this is the eye, or the eye pair, and then it also gives you the full name once you're in there. So the eye look at, so I can grab that one, which is the main one. I can grab uh, each one of these individually and then there's also the master controls of each which has like the parent orient and things like that as well if you move this around it doesn't really affect anything in fact I should probably lock those out in a future update but for now just it's just there for the uh, the parent orient stuff and then uh, lastly are the FK chains so if I want, like this is probably the most useful for a lot of people when you have like a lot of fingers or something. So I can grab all the uh, all the thumb ones, rotate these around, grab the other thumbs, or maybe grab both at the same time by just holding on the shift key. And now I can rotate both thumbs at the same time. And then we have. Um, individual ones so I can go in and click each one shift select the ones I want if I only want to grab two of them and then so that's the thumbs then if we look at the finger I can grab all the fingers at once I can also grab just each uh, this is each uh, chain so that's all the joints of that chain or I can grab you know across so it grabs all the second joints of each chain and manipulate those I can just keep shift selecting or control clicking, turning on and off the ones I want to manipulate, grab them all, rotate them all. And then so that's pretty much it for that stuff for selecting. And then down here we have select all where I can grab everything. And then we have reset transforms. So I need to have something selected. So if I want to reset all of the uh, characters left leg and grab all those and hit reset transforms. And then if I hit reset extras, it'll reset things like the IKFK switch and things like that. But I'll leave these non-reset. 
um, because it's easier to see when we get to the next one, which is uh, mirroring. So I can mirror the entire pose, and so that will flip him over from one side to the other. And then I can go left to right, so one side to the other. And uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Um, there's probably still some work that needs to be done on this one. It's a fairly new concept for me, um, but it's a good starting point, at least for selecting controls and, and uh, assisting in your workflow. So I hope that was helpful to you, and uh, keep looking for more updates.